Japan's Princess Mako gave up her title and wealth for love. Last year she married a commoner, an ordinary poor guy. She had to leave the luxurious palace and start earning a living herself. How has her life changed since then? What is she doing now? Where does she live? And why has her relationship been surrounded by scandals for many years? Keep watching to find out. This is WOW Channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! The Japanese monarchy is one of the oldest in the world. The imperial throne has existed for more than 2,000 years. People in this country still respect traditions. Today the emperor serves as a symbol of the state and the unity of the nation. He does not participate in political life. However, the Japanese royal protocol has many strange things. Members of the royal family must follow strict rules. For example, they can get a job, they can only do charity work. A woman from the imperial family cannot become a monarch. The throne is transmitted only through the male line. A man can marry a commoner and keep his title. Women from the imperial family can also marry a commoner, but in this case they will have to give up their title and wealth. They receive the social status of a husband and are forced to leave the palace. That's why being a princess in Japan is very difficult. Many women from the imperial family have to choose between title and love. Many of them gave up royal privileges and began an ordinary but happy life with a loved one. Former emperor of Japan, Akihito, many years ago married a simple girl, whom he met on a tennis court. In this happy marriage, three children were born, two sons and a daughter. The 125th emperor was on the throne for 30 years. His eldest son, Naruhito, ascended to the throne, and his daughter, Sayaka Kuroda, renounced the title. She married an ordinary clerk and left the palace. Akihito's the youngest son has three children, two daughters and a son. The next emperor should be his son, Prince Hisahito, and one of Akishino's daughters, Princess Mako, decided to give up her title and become the wife of an ordinary Japanese guy. Their love story was very complicated, full of scandals and rumors, and today you will find out how their life turned out a year after the wedding. Princess Mako was born in 1991. She attended a girls' school in Tokyo, and at the age of 15 she took part in her first official religious ceremony. The teenage girl was an internet idol in her country. Too much attention was paid to her. It was a heavy burden for a young princess. She studied a lot abroad, in Dublin, Edinburgh and London. But during her studies she hid that she was a member of the imperial family. The girl behaved modestly and tried not to stand out. After coming of age, Princess Mako began to attend official events. As an adult member of the Japanese imperial family, she made several official visits to Honduras, Paraguay, Bhutan, Brazil, Peru and other countries. The princess graduated from the International Christian University in Tokyo with a bachelor's degree in art and cultural heritage. There she met her future husband, Kei Kamura. He was an ordinary guy and didn't have any titles. He didn't suit her status, but the princess fell in love and could not be with someone else. Four years after they met, they decided to announce their engagement. But the wedding had to be postponed due to the scandal. Kikamura's mother borrowed money from her financier. After separation, the man demanded to repay the debt through the court. The story hit the media. The princess took this situation hard. Moreover, 80% of the Japanese were against her marriage to a commoner. Citizens staged protests. They were opposed to spending taxpayer money on the Kamura family. There were also rumors in the press that Kamura was marrying the princess for money. People thought that he was not suitable for a girl from the imperial family. 
Journalist mockingly described his appearance and long hair, as well as his habit of buying fast food on the street. All this lasted several years. It is difficult to imagine how hard it was for Princess Mako to go through all this. Doctors diagnosed her with post-traumatic stress disorder. At the time, Kamura had to leave for the United States. There he received a law degree from Fort Ham University. As a result, he paid off all the debts of his mother, therefore the conflict was over. Despite the scandals, Princess Mako and her beloved man still became husband and wife in 2021. At a press conference, Mako said, we were created to support each other in joy and sorrow. Marriage is a necessary choice to live according to the dictates of the heart. The girl refused the title and wealth. She didn't want a luxurious wedding. She also rejected the due payments that women from the imperial family who left the palace received. And that's over a million dollars. Mako and Kamura proved to everyone that money was not important to them. They married only for love. Their wedding ceremony was too simple and modest for the royal house. The couple didn't want to spend a lot of money on the celebration. After the wedding, the former princess received the first passport in her life. Usually members of the imperial family don't have it, as they have a special status. A year has passed since then. Mako is no longer a princess, she had to leave the palace. Her name was removed from the family tree of the imperial house. She has not personal bodyguard anymore. She became an ordinary woman who earned her own living. After marriage, the former princess and her husband decided to go to the United States. The couple rent an apartment in Manhattan. Rental housing in this area costs from three to eleven thousand dollar a month. Kei Kamura got a job as a paralegal at a law firm in New York. Mako began volunteering at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. She assists the curators of the Asian Art Collection Department. Their apartment is a 10-minute drive from the museum. Also, Mrs. Kamura organized an exhibition of paintings dedicated to the life of a monk from the 13th century. Mako walks the streets of New York in casual clothes, jeans, sneakers, t-shirt. It's difficult to guess that this woman was a princess and wore expensive tiaras in the past. Now she goes to the grocery store and carries heavy bags herself. She doesn't want to draw attention to herself, but the paparazzi sometimes take pictures with her. This lifestyle is much happier for Mako than living in a palace with consonant royal ceremonies, I suppose. Instead of money and jewelry, she has the most important thing – real love and quiet family happiness. And what would you choose in her place? A luxurious life in a palace or life with a beloved person? Thanks for watching! Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time!